Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm checking out an airfoil and going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says, How do wings create flight? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a piece of paper. Today, I'm gonna show you a wicked cool challenge that you can do with your friends and they won't be able to do it. And all you need is a common sheet of paper. Oh, and don't worry, you don't gotta do any of that origami crap. You know, where you fold a piece of paper like this and then over here, turn around and unfold it like that. And look, it's trash! <laughs> Take your piece of paper and fold it in half. And then fold it in half like this. Then unfold the piece of paper and rip it along the fold. Now, fold the ends into the center of the piece of paper. Now, place this on a table like this. And now you are gonna challenge your friend to blow the piece of paper over. Of course, you know, of course, you're gonna get that friend who thinks they're a smart ace. Ha <laughs> ha! And they're gonna get up real close and blow. But this is what's gonna happen. Okay, so then they're gonna wanna try it again, except this time they're gonna blow harder and this is what'll happen. <sighs> of course, then your friend's gonna wanna try it at a distance and of course, this is what'll happen. <sighs> now that's so wicked cool. So why does the piece of paper go flat? Why doesn't the piece of paper flip over? And what does this have to do with how wings create flight? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Normally, air molecules create pressure in every direction on objects here on Earth. However, when you get those molecules moving in a certain direction, those molecules of air now create most of their pressure in the direction of the flow. As you blow under the paper, you're moving air molecules. As those air molecules move, they don't create as much pressure pushing up as they do pushing in the direction of the airflow. This allows the higher pressure above the paper to push down, flattening the paper. The closer you blow to the piece of paper, as well as the harder you blow, the lower the pressure will be underneath the paper. This is the same reason that wings are able to create flight. Unlike the piece of paper, wings have an angle of attack. This angle causes air to flow at different speeds above and below the wing. As air flows over the top of a wing, it moves faster than the air moving underneath the wing. Just like the high pressure above the piece of paper pushed the paper and flattened it, the high pressure underneath the wing pushes up on the wing, which creates lift or flight. No matter what the wing is attached to, whether it's birds, insects, or airplanes, the difference in air pressure is what allows wings to create flight. So now you know how everything with wings flies. You know, challenging your friends to something they can't do is why science is so cool.